Hey guys, coming at you with today's workout. What we have today is we have an 80 cent rep count of single arm dumbbell power snatches and burpee box jump overs. We are increasing by increments of two. So it's gonna be two, four, six, eight. Um, similar to a workout that you would see in an open format. Um, so let's just look at our approach for today's workout. We should find a pace that we can stick to today. So it's not really coming out of the gate super far, super hard and fast, um, but really main, making sure that we can have a pace that we can maintain throughout uh, and keep grinding this one out. So let's look at our power snatch. So both dumbbell heads are on the ground. I'm going to have my feet a little bit tighter than the squatting position and my knees are going to be out tracking over my feet and my back is going to be in the neutral position. I'm going to make my first pull from the ground slowly until I get above my knees and then I'm gonna snap my hips open, keeping the dumbbell close to my body, shrugging and then finishing with this weight up and overhead. Okay, and then when I alternate, I'm going to drop the dumbbell right into my opposite hand, back down to the ground, again, snap hips open, shrug, finish with this dumbbell up and overhead, so real time speed would look something like this. So the rep counts when the dumbbell heads are on the ground and finish with the weight up and overhead. Okay, so let's just remember that we're keeping that elbow close to the body, that we're starting the lawnmower. It is a shrug, pull, and finish in that quarter squat and then standing it up all right, to complete the movement. So that's one option. Uh, we can certainly use the dumbbell. We can also use kettlebell. Kettlebell is a little bit different. First pull is similar, except that we're really punching this weight out up and overhead to finish the snatch. All right, so more of a punch out and then finish for a snatch with kettlebell. We can also use, again, our odd object milk jug, laundry detergent. So let's say that you have the laundry detergent that you're using or odd object and it's a little bit lighter than you want it to be. Perfect opportunity to go faster on the burpee box jump over. Okay, so that movement, burpee box jump over, is going to be our chest and thighs getting all the way down to the ground. Coming up, my preference is to be in the lunge over the top of the box, and this completes your rep. Once again, that's one rep. Two reps. All right, so we can use a box, we can use uh, a sturdy chair, we've even used a bench. So this is gonna get your heart rate jacked up, and let's get after this one. I'll see you next time.